Class 11 Accountancy Numerical Problem Solutions Presented by Edixit.com In this video, we are going to provide Bank Reconciliation Statement Unfavorable Balance of Passbook Solutions Problem 14 Solution The problem statement is as follows. Prepare Bank Reconciliation Statement of Sri Bhandari as on March 31st, 2000 plus. 1. The payment of a cheque for 550 rupees was recorded twice in the passbook. 2. Withdrawal column of the passbook undercast by 200 rupees. 3. A cheque of 200 rupees has been debited in the bank column of the cash book but it was not sent to bank at all. 4. A check of 300 rupees debited to bank column of the cash book was not sent to the bank. 5. 500 rupees in respect of dishonored check were entered in the passbook, but not in the cash book. Overdraft as per the passbook is 20,000 rupees. Before we proceed with the analysis of these particulars, let us first recap about why there is a need for reconciliation. By preparing the bank reconciliation statement, we get an idea about why there is a difference between the cash book and the passbook balances. The difference could be due to timing difference on recording the transaction, errors made by the business or the bank. Few reasons of the timing difference are checks deposited or dishonored. When the check is received by the business, it deposits this check in the bank and debits this check amount in the bank column of the cash book. In some cases, this check will be dishonored and the amount debited in the bank passbook. Due to the timing difference, the business does not know about the check being dishonored. So, there will be no entry for the dishonored check. In other words, as per the cash book, the check is successfully encashed and as per the passbook, the check is dishonored. The firm will know about this only after the bank statement is received. As a result, there will be difference in the passbook and the cash book balances. There are other reasons also, but to limit the scope of these differences to this problem, let us consider only this one reason for timing difference. Now coming back to the errors made by the business or the bank, errors committed in recording the transaction by the firm. One of the errors could be due to the omission or wrong recording of transactions relating to checks issued, checks deposited, and wrong totaling etc. committed by the firm while recording the entries in the cash book. This will cause a difference between the cash book balance and the passbook balances. Errors committed in recording the transactions by the bank. This is also due to omission or wrong recording of transactions related to the checks issued, checks deposited, and wrong totaling etc. committed by the bank while recording the entries in the passbook. This will cause a difference between the cash book balance and the passbook balances. Now, with this information at our disposal, let us now proceed with the analysis of each of these details in the problem. As you know, we have to consider either the cash book balance or the passbook balance as the starting point for preparing the bank reconciliation statement. So, we have to consider the item at the end of these particulars as the starting point as it represents the bank passbook balance. Also, I want to reiterate that when there is any debit entry in the business cash book, the corresponding entry in the bank passbook would be in the credit side. Similarly, if there is any credit entry in the business cash book, the corresponding entry in the bank passbook would be in the debit side. We have to keep this in mind while analyzing these particulars. Here, it is given that the overdraft balance as per the passbook is 20,000 rupees. As you know, the overdraft balance in the passbook means that there is debit balance in the passbook. And we call the overdraft or debit balance in the passbook as unfavorable balance of passbook. So, in this problem, the debit or overdraft balance as per the passbook is given and we need to find the balance in the business cash book. Let us first enter these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us first write the title as bank reconciliation statement as of December 31st, 2000 plus. Let us have the individual columns for Serial number, particulars, amount that should be added, and amount that should be deducted. 
Let us first write the particulars as overdraft as per the passbook. As this is debit or unfavorable balance in the passbook, we need to write this amount of 20,000 rupees in the minus amount column. That completes the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us now take up the next details. Here it is given that the payment for a check for 550 rupees was recorded twice in the passbook. So clearly, this is error committed by the bank wherein the check amount is debited twice. As this is an error committed by the bank, the additional entry will not be there in the cash book. So obviously, there will be difference between the bank passbook balance and the business cash book balances. So we need to add this amount to the passbook balance to get the cash book balance. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the recording of these details in the bank reconciliation statement. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the particulars as payment of check debited twice in the passbook. Let us then write this amount of 550 rupees in the plus amount column. That completes the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us now take up the next details. Here it is given that the withdrawal column of the passbook is undercast by 200 rupees. This means that the passbook was debited with 200 rupees less. In other words, 200 rupees were not debited. For example, if the amount to be debited is 500 rupees, only 300 rupees were debited. So, the amount that was not debited is 200 rupees. But the corresponding amount created in the business cash book will be exactly 500 rupees. Anyway, this is just an example for your clear understanding of this statement. Clearly, this is an error committed by the bank. Due to this, obviously, there will be difference between the business cash book balance and the bank passbook balances. So, we need to deduct this amount from the passbook balance to get the cash book balance. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the particular sales withdrawal column of the passbook under cast. Let us then write this amount of 200 rupees in the minus amount column. That completes the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us now take up the next details. Here it is given that a check for 200 rupees is debited in the cash book, but it was not sent to the bank at all. So this means that the business has received a check from a customer or debtor. So this check amount is debited in the bank column of the cash book. As you know, when the check is received, it will be considered as a check if it is deposited in the bank on the same day. If it is not deposited in the bank on the same day, it should be recorded in the cash column. As this check is recorded in the bank column of the cash book, it is considered as check and should have been deposited in the bank on the same day. As it is not deposited in the bank on the same day, clearly this is an error from the business side. This means that this check amount was not created in the pause book as it was not at all sent to the bank. This will cause a difference between the business cash book balance and the bank pause book balances. So we need to add this amount to the pause book balance to get the cash book balance. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the recording of these details in the bank reconciliation statement. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the particular as check debited in the cash book but not at sent to deposit in the bank. Let us write this amount of 200 rupees in the plus amount column. That completes the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us now take up the next details. Here it is given that a check for 300 rupees is debited in the bank column of the cash book, but it was not sent to the bank. So, this check was not created in the bank passbook. This will cause a difference between the business cash book balance and the bank passbook balances. So, we need to add this amount to the passbook balance to get the cash book balance. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the recording of these details in the bank reconciliation statement. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the particular as check debited in the cash book but not at sent to deposit in the bank. Let us write this amount of 300 rupees in the plus amount column. That completes the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us now take up the next details. Here a check for 500 rupees was dishonored. As we have discussed in the recap, when this check is dishonored, it will be debited in the bank passbook. 
but the business does not know about this dishonored check until the bank statement is received so this check amount will not be credited in the cash book due to the timing difference so obviously there will be difference between the business cash book balance and the bank passbook balances so we need to add this check amount to the passbook balance to get the business cash book balance with this analysis set of disposal let us now proceed with the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement let us first write the serial number let us then write the particulars as check dishonored let us now write this amount of 500 rupees in the plus amount column that completes the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement in fact we have completed the recording of all the details into the bank reconciliation statement the next step is to find the balance as per the cash book now the total of all the entries in the plus amount column is 1550 rupees and the total of all the entries in the minus amount column is 20200 rupees from 20200 rupees if you subtract 1550 rupees we get 18650 rupees this is the cash book balance and now let's record this let's first write the particulars as overdraft as per the cash book as we have started with the pass book overdraft balance we need to write the cash book overdraft balance of 18650 rupees in the plus amount column now the total of all the entries in the plus amount column is 20200 rupees similarly the total of all the entries in the minus amount column is 20200 rupees with that we have come to the end of this solution thanks for watching edxit.com is started to promote effective and efficient learning process to help the students with their learning requirements to watch all our videos please subscribe to our channel also please click on the bell icon to receive a notification as soon as a new video is published please click on the like button if you like this video thanks for watching